Good morning, all. I'm back again. And I have something to say. Now, let me say this. And this is a special announcement to my LGBT community. And especially the trans girls. Because naturally, you all have something, some of you, cookie monsters, have something to say. Let me tell you bitches something. First of all, I report on Tookie Cookie. Cookie has come for me and a lot of girls. And she's a black trans woman. And the others that she has schemed and scammed and turned out that have helped her and have done things for her and she has stabbed them in the back. Okay, so get that, get that that fact straight. Second of all, this is, right now, our country is in a pandemic. Okay? The black community is dying. And it doesn't care who you are and what you are. And number three, this a uh, uprising with a poor black man who was murdered by the police. Okay? And on the news they've shown he had a daughter. And now her, his daughter does not have a father. Okay? Do you all not remember I'm talking to the trans women who have come for me about Tookie Cookie, her cookie monsters. Do you bitches realize you're black? This is our fight too. I said, I hope Cookie is practicing social distancing, wearing her mask, which she is not. I'm not tearing her down. What I'm doing is hoping it'll get through her head. She's jealous of Madison. She acts stupid wherever she goes. She has chances to do what she wants to do, get in the arena. She's been booked for two bookings and fucked up. And then... And then she runs around dangerously. And you all don't see that as a problem? Come on. And then with this rioting, with the police, us trans women, LGBT com community, we're black too. And I'm not making this, before you bitches even go there, I'm not making this about our LGBT situation. But really, we aren't really included. But I will say this, it doesn't matter. Because you know what matter, bitches? We're black. Black. We come in all shapes and sizes. Colors. And exactly what the, the cop police would do, police brutality to the black men and women, they do to us, the LGBT community. We are not exempt. Okay? So I was be merely making a point, and I'm not, I'm not defending what I said about Cookie. Hell no. I'm letting you people know that we are black. It doesn't matter what the hell you are when those black policemen, when those white cops stop us, our black asses, they don't care what we are. All they see is black. And that's it. And we get the same treatment as everybody else. So I am not I am not saying that this is 
we are not we we're we're not included. That's common sense. The LGBT I'm speaking on the LGBT community because I'm a trans woman. It is racial equal it's racial inequality within our damn community. You black bitches wake up. Do you think those white Trans women and LGBT community, the white ones, you know how they discriminate against us. They don't want us in their clubs. We've always, it's always been a white club and a black club. Discrimination in 1920, in 2020, excuse me. It's an equality within the LGBT community. Have you all noticed? But no, all you think about is no. Natasha this, or we all should get along. We're tearing each trans girl down. We're not tearing any damn trans girl down. Cookie Tookie has had all the help that she could possibly get, and she has burnt every bridge. When does it stop? And not only Tookie Cookie, it's plenty of other girls who make it bad for themselves. My issue is, this is Pride Month, LGBT, as we stand and fight and, and, and walk for our black people to have equality and stop police brutality. That's really what it's all about. And then we can say, okay, well, you know, a lot of the black people, they give it to the LGBT community. Okay. But right now, it doesn't matter who we are. Everybody is getting the police brutality, the mistreatment. Everybody, LGBTQ, everybody. This is everybody's fight. In case you didn't know, ladies. And even the gay men and the lesbians and all of that, you fight among each other. Black. You know the LGBT community, how it's segregated. Those white bitches don't want us. Yeah, sometimes we find white lovers. And that's fine because love has no color. But when it comes down to plain discrimination, which is runs rampant in our community, you would think that some of you bitches would think about that, okay? I'm an older girl. I've experienced it. I'm from New York. I know. Back in the day, they had the white clubs and the black clubs. And if you entered a white club, they would kind of look at you. They accepted you being there, but all eyes were on you. And if a white person would enter a black club, they would accept it. Now, let me tell, give you bitches another thought. Do you notice that we are the most accepting black? We are the most accepting? Yeah, the black race. When a lot of white bitches came into the club and they wanted to party with us, we didn't discriminate. I've seen it with my eyes, so you can't tell me. They were accepted. But when we went up to their clubs, they looked at us like we're trash to this day. They talk about us, the LGB community the white LGBT community. 
in New York, the LGBT Center, you go in there, you see the prejudice. You see it even in the community center where everybody congregates and you're black. Even some of the transgender meetings, it's, it's really no whites in there. In, in our black meetings, it never was. They had their own meetings. They never came to our black meetings. It was never meetings for us together. Okay? So you black bitches need to think about that. Cookie needs to get her freaking act together. And that's why I talk about it. Because she keeps mouthing Madison, which I'm not inserting myself, but she's black and she's putting down another trans woman. Madison doesn't mention Cookie. And Cookie has done a lot of things to a lot of girls. And she started a lot of drama. And like I said, this video isn't even about Cookie. It's about wake up black LGBTQ people that this applies to. Realize that this pandemic does not discriminate. And it is prejudice within our LGBT community. And you do you know that there are LGBT, LGBTQ community cops who are on the force? Had you all ever thought of that? And do you know that they're just as prejudiced too? Okay? They could be gay lesbian, white, and just as prejudiced against us. And they're one of us. Sweetie, I don't know, maybe it's because I'm from New York. It's a melting pot, so I've seen it all. So it's nothing a bitch can tell me about segregation in, in our community, the different clubs, how they're separated, white, black, how a black, like black people, LGBT folks walk into a white club, they kind of look and like everybody's like backing up, scared they're going to be robbed or something like that. But they come to our clubs and they are accepted. Us black people are the most accepting of any race, then all of the races are of us. They don't easily accept us. And it's got to stop. Charity begins at home. As my grandmother used to say, charity begins at home. That fight out there for, e for equal justice or the police treating us like human isn't just, a gay, isn't just for gay, straight people. It's for all people. All of us get it if we're black and the cops stop us. Then we can go and divide it out and say, well, our black, our black brothers and sisters treat us trans people and our LGBT community like shit and they're black. Okay? That is another, that's a horse of another color, another subject. But the matter is we are black and they are gay cops. Lesbian cops too on the force, idiots. That will do the same thing to us, no matter who we are, no matter just, be, just because they're like us, they will still treat us the same. So you people, you bitches, cookie monsters, or the, some of you cookie monsters need to get it together and learn, get the facts straight. But it's a lot of you young girls, I've noticed, that probably 
You didn't have to deal with the segregation back in the 50s and 60s and the 70s and 80s and, and part of the 90s. You didn't have to deal with that. It's much easier now for you girls to even transition a lot of the girls had to go for black market hormones to transition or even a trans man. I'm not going to get into all that transitioning because the subject at hand is that we are black. Regardless if we're in the LGBT community, we are black. And there's segregation and prejudice within our community. So bitches, don't forget it. Don't think every white LGBT person likes us too. Because they don't. And if you think they are, you are sadly mistaken. So don't take it out on me because I point out Cookie is one of the Cookie is one of the prime examples of why they think of us like that. Because she's all in the middle of the street, and I saw every race was looking at her. She's a prime example, and others I've seen in New York. And it disgusts me. And within our own LGBT community, like I said, any of you ever been to New York, Go to the LGBT community center and see how segregated it is. You have white people over there, white people. They're not, some of them are not so, are socializing with us. Some of them are. I'm not saying all. But you can see the, you can see the segregation, especially the older ones. Yes that are in their 70s, late 60s, you can definitely see. They have senior meetings up there in the, tr in the, the transgender, the LGBT center in New York for, the, with, for older gays. And they're all from back in the day. And you should see how some of those old people act towards us blacks. So girls, get it together. Knock it off. This goes for gay, lesbian, transgender, queer, bisexual. Get it together. This is not, this is not about, all just about us. Everybody gets it. I'm talking about when we get back to our communities, we are treated just, we are treated badly by our own race. When on a whole, when those prejudiced white cops come for us, they don't care who you are. Straight, gay, whatever. That's the point. When Bruce, when police brutality comes in, it doesn't freaking matter who you are. So, even though we're not, they're not mentioning us, they're talking about race. Then, we could still have our conversation share with, well, you know, our black people give us LGBT. Our black people who are not in the LGBT community, they give us a hard time. And they do. And it's nothing wrong with expressing that at all. But sometimes, with that being said, you do think, well, you know, we go through the same thing and you guys make it worse because you come back and tear down your own black race. Even though we're LGBT. Hell, the straight people, black people, do it to each other. It's just done all around in our race, period. So knock it off. 
This has been Natasha. And I'm a little annoyed. I'm going to have my coffee. And I will see you guys later. Thanks for the company. This has been a public service announcement. <laughs> Bye.